ended up walking 42 miles across three days to go see her because she's out in the middle of nowhere um, in a little tiny chapel. And I heard about her because I was in an antique bookstore and I, this, I, was, I bought the book and she was, I was just flipping through the book and I saw a picture of her. So I didn't even know about her when I was on my, when I, when I was preparing for my pilgrimage. Mm. Um, but I knew as soon as I saw her, oh, I have to go see her. Like this is unbelievable. And this is what I wrote about her <laughs> in my book. Our Lady of the Rock, who I immediately began calling Our Lady of the Side Eye, stole my heart and I promptly purchased the book that she was in. The photo of her 900-year-old statue was exactly what I needed to remind me that the sacred black feminine refuses to be whitewashed and melted into the generic, anemic, divine feminine pot. Mm -hmm. Our Lady of the Side Eye reminds us that she's been saying, not today, colonizer, today is not the day, <laughs> since the 1100s. And she reminds us that she continues to echo black women's cries. 